Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Rode NT4 microphone to the Zoom H5 recorder. Then I'm going to experiment with the distance between me and the microphone that is going to give us the best sound in my home studio environment. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of post-processing to see uh, if we can make it sound uh, slightly more fancy. If you know this piece, please comment below. If you don't, well, you have to subscribe. If you're not very familiar with the Zoom H5 recorder, then you can check out my other video on the basics of operation. To use an external microphone like Rode NT4, we need to enable phantom power first. We use our menu button to go to our in and out options and we select uh, phantom power right here. Here's where we can turn the power on or off and also select a voltage for our microphone. Uh, Rode NT4 uses 48 volts. So now I'm going to enable power to inputs one and two. Uh, each input is a, a mono track and since Rode NT4 it's a stereo microphone it uses both of them. When I activate inputs two and one you can see that nothing is happening. Well, because we gotta turn the microphone on. That was a bit hot, so let's adjust our recording levels with those dials here, so those inputs that are coming from our microphone, yeah, are controlled right here. Let me drop some extra knowledge in here for you. You see, Zoom Recorder comes with a backup recording option. What does this mean? If you select it, uh, it will record a additional track that is 20 dBs quieter than the track you're recording. So in the future, if you are recorded something way too hot, you can have a, another option to, to get a better audio going. So, and as you can see, there's a little icon right here in the right corner that tells you that your backup is enabled. For this next section, I strongly recommend using headphones. Okay, let's go to low register. Time for some high register and wider dynamic range. Okay, the closest setup to me sounds the best. So I'm going to use that to use some computer magic, meaning um, just uh, adding some reverb and maybe a little bit of EQ, uh, because I'm not really a professional sound engineer, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, feel free to, to, to give me some suggestions and comments below. And then we're going to see with all that added stuff, if we can make it sound fancy. Check it out. Fancy. Super fancy. This was a lot of fun. And if you stuck around this long with me, then I have a little bonus for you. What is it? It's a joke, it's a viola joke. So here it goes. Uh, what is violist favorite instrument in the orchestra? 
Well, it is harp. Why? Because it only has open strings that you never have to vibrate. Anyway, please subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys later.